Hi, I am Thais and I have been working at Microsoft for four years, taking care of the debugger, mainly for mobile devices and WebAssembly. Also, I am Brazilian, so I would like to say sorry about my English and I hope you all can understand what I am trying to explain. The goals of this presentation are show you what are the biggest differences and challenges that we faced to implement the WASM debugging with .NET in VS Code in two different execution modes. The one that we will call WASM, which is WebAssembly running inside the browser, and the other one that we will call WASI, which is the WebAssembly running without the browser. We can execute and debug in both ways, and I will explain how we implemented the debugger support for both of them. The first thing that I will try to explain is why we use the Chrome DevTools protocol, which we will call CDP from now on. So to start, I have to say that as our runtime already works for other platforms, we already had a protocol to talk to our runtime called Soft Debugger Protocol, and we will call it SDB from now on. The only way to talk to our runtime using SDB was via socket, and it was not possible, as far as I know, to open a socket in WASM running inside the browser. Another reason is that we wanted to debug JavaScript and C Sharp at the same time. So we decided to use CDP to communicate with runtime since we were primarily running WASM on Chrome. Here you can see a draw of how the browser communicates with IDE with remote debugging enabled. It's important to remember that the IDE can be either VS Code, VS, or DevTools from browser itself. They communicate through a web socket using CDP. For example, the IDE sends a message to browser to insert a breakpoint, evaluate expressions, get local variables, and others. The browser also sends message to IDE to say, hey, I hit a breakpoint, so it's paused on the bug. In our version, we put a proxy in the middle, which ends up intercepting all the messages between, between IDE and the browser, and checks if that message has any relevance for C -sharp, C Sharp code, whether it does what's necessary, and if it's not, we only forward the message. Now I'll show you some details of the code in case you want to start to understand more details. In this slide are all the links. Here is the code executed when the programmer inserts a breakpoint via CDP. We will it will receive a message of type debugger.setbreakpoint by URL. Here is where it checks if the added breakpoint is a C sharp code. And if it's a C sharp code, it goes to the next method. The next method is where it writes in a string buffer following the SDB protocol everything that we need to really insert the breakpoint in the managed code. Here is where it calls the JavaScript function using the runtime evaluate message from CDP. So we are in a C sharp code, we will call runtime evaluation from using the CDP message, and then we will execute this function on browser. We will execute this JavaScript function on browser side. Here is the JavaScript wrapper function, which we'll call the native function. And the last one is the native function that we'll call the debugger functions that already existed in our runtime. So it will decode the message buffer following the STP protocol and do what needs to be done. Now you might be curious to see what happens when it hits to a breakpoint which is the inverse path. So again, the links and the snippets. It's executed when the runtime hits a breakpoint and calls this native function. Then it calls the, this JavaScript function that contains this debugger statement. And here is the trick. This debugger statement makes our proxy receive via CDP a message like debugger pause it. Then we receive this debugger positive message, and then we call this another method, which will check what kind of, which will decode the, the message in STB format, and we'll check 
if, what kind of files we will receive it with, if we need information like call stack, locations, and etc. And so it sends the message to runtime to ask for these informations in the same way that I explained it to set a breakpoint using the runtime evaluate message. A question that you might be asking, is it possible to support debugging in other browsers? The answer is yes. We can follow the same idea to support debugging in any other browser that has remote debugging feature. We already have an experimental support for Firefox, and this is the extension that we use when we want to debug from VS Code. Here, a curiosity, recently our runtime is supporting mode thread, and we had to change some things to make the debugger work. If anyone wants to, once can look at this PR, it's not merged yet. I hope it will merge it soon. Now, we can see a video debugging a WASM browser app, which is an experimental template we created in .NET 7. So we will, run, we will start Edge listening on remote debugging port 9222. And we will use in the launch.json file the port of our proxy. Then we will attach. The breakpoint is already there, so we will click the button, and you can see it's paused in the breakpoint. You can see locals and also call stack. Now let's talk about the debugger in the WASI environment, or WebAssembly running outside the browser. It was really quick to implement because we already had the debugger listening on socket because we already used it for mobile devices and we were able to reuse a lot of it. We already had a VS Code extension that knows how to talk to the runtime and this extension uses this another library which has all the logic to communicate using SDB. Here is the PR where we implemented the debugger for WASI. I think we have mostly two challenges. The first one was to Pre-open a socket in the WASI environment and use it in our runtime. It was a little bit difficult to understand how to how to make it work, but we could we could make it. So and here is the link where we did it. And the second challenge is that our debugger uses an exclu exclu exclusive thread for communication, uh, the way that was implemented before and there isn't support for mood thread in the WASI environment, so we had to communicate with the debugger on the same thread of the execution. That is, whenever we find a se sequence point, we see if there is something in the communication buffer, like setting a breakpoint, and then we execute it. Also, when it stops at a breakpoint, we keep in, a, in this communication loop, receiving and send messages about call stack, locals, watches, until we receive I step or a resume, and then it, cons it continues the execution. Here is a video debugging in VS Code, a C Sharp program running in WASI, and for that we use the mono extension for VS Code, and the link is here. So we are attaching. We can resume, look at variables and also call stack. And here on the last slide, I show you all the possible configurations to debug C Sharp running on Edge, Firefox, and WASMI time without the browser. The first and the second configurations use this proxy, so we, we, we set the port of the pro, where the proxy is listening. And the third configuration uses a socket that communicates directly with runtime. So we use the port where the WASMI time has the pre-open socket. And what they have in common is that the three of them uses STP. That means that on runtime side, the code executed is practically the same for the three configurations. That's all folks. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have any question, I am available. Thank you. Bye-bye.